Welcome back. Today, COPE spokesperson Dennis Bloom testified at the Zondo Commission. He says former minister Ngonde Balfour turned a blind eye to graft allegations at the Correctional Services Department. He says this soured Balfour's relationship with Parliament's Correctional Services Portfolio Committee. ENCA's Aaron Bates has been tracking the story and joins me now. So, Aaron... Once again, uh, names continue to be dropped. We keep hearing about new names. We're hearing now the name Winningwenya, an ANC MP, and that colloquial term that refers to money in Yugu. Yeah. What was happening? What was Dennis Bloom talking about? Well, I mean, the allegation is really, really damning. He says that she came into his office in the parliamentary precinct. She issued a message which seemed to be from Bosasa Seniors inviting uh, Dennis Bloom to meet with them, and he this refused. Was when, he was, uh, when he was chair of the Portfolio yeah. Committee on Correctional Services, and he held that position between 2004 and 2009 when he was still an ANC MP. Uh, and we have a, a clip, a segment of his testimony where he talks about Winnie and Gwenya and what he says happened. One of my committee members, uh, Ms. Winnie Nguenya, uh, came to my office uh, and uh, she is saying that she wants to discuss something with me. Uh, I asked uh, yeah, what, what is it uh, all about. She said no, she was sent by people. Uh, I asked, I asked her, who, who is these people? She said, it's the owners of Busasa. Uh, they want uh, to meet with me. And uh, I said to her, I'm not interested. I am doing my work uh, here in this, committee, uh, in this uh, uh, committee. And uh, must I continue? Yes, please, go on. Yeah. And she said to me, Jefferson, you are playing with your luck. You must see these people. I said, no, I am not going to, to, to see this. I am not interested in meeting these people. Then she said to me, Chairperson, can you go? I said, Comrade Winnie, I'm not interested. She's saying, this is money, Chair. I said, I'm not going to meet with them. And that was the end. Then she went out of the office. I never met with those people. But Comrade Winnie, uh, Winnie Gwenya, they were sending Winnie to me so that we must have a meeting with them. I refused. So Bloom saying there something that lines up with what Angelo Agritzi testified, Agritzi alleging that uh, Winnie and Gwenya was one of the MPs who was receiving cash money from Busasa monthly, and he cited a figure of 20,000 rand for mm. her. And interesting now that we hear from Bloom on his claim that Gwenya offered uh, him this meeting with Busasa and Kenyuku, you know, and him understanding yeah. that to literally mean you could make money out of this if you met with Busasa. So part of Dennis Bloom's... Um, advantage was that he played the oversight role right over correctional services and this included of course looking over such contracts as the catering contract that they had with uh, uh, correctional services it seems a lot was going on in the kitchen including cooking up schemes that he describes as money laundering yes lots of cooks in that kitchen making a, a pretty penny out of uh, their contracts with the uh, correctional services. He spoke about that TV contract, which was worth about 224 million rand, I think it was, uh, to install these TVs at different correctional services facilities. And then on the catering contract, he was absolutely direct on what he thinks was going on. This catering tender was just money laundering, a money laundering scheme. The Busasa have said they are going to take over the kitchens and do the cooking and repair food. It was a blue lie. The inmates were still doing uh, the cooking and it was business as usual. Chairperson, I am talking out of experience. I visited these prisons. The inmates were still cooking. Sondolo 
had one office in the middle of the kitchen. One official, one, one of their um, uh, people, were sitting there in that uh, 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 office. And they were just taking the money, Sondol. They were not actually doing the job. Chaperson, there was no labor. There was no labor from Busasa. It was the inmates that have cooked, that have prepared food, that have dished out for the inmates. I am saying, Chaperson, I am speaking out of experience. I visited physically uh, the prisons in the country. And how's this for a blast from the past? Uh, Erin Ngonde Balfo is a name that has not been mentioned in South African, I guess, in the public discourse uh, for quite a number of years, but his name came up today. Yes, and uh, what uh, Bloom said is that Balfour was uh, really difficult at times with the Portfolio Committee on Correctional Services and that there was a breakdown in the relationship. So as much as he says he and many ANC peers in that committee were seeking oversight and trying to execute their authority, they were... Um, sort of barricaded time and again by the likes of Mourne Balfour and uh, he argued that Balfour was protecting Patrick Gillingham and Linda M.T. when they interrogated him on what was going on correctional services. So let's just have a look at what he had to say on that. We as a committee raise many objections and many concerns to the then minister when I I'm talking about when I was the chairperson. Yes, yes. The, chair, the, the minister was Monday Balfour. I raised many things in meetings, only me yes. and him. Yes. Talking about these problems. Yes. And it was never addressed. When you, when you used to have discussions with, uh, with him, did he also acknowledge that there were serious problems? but didn't want to do anything about them, or did he deny that there were problems? Chaperson, his attitude was, no, let us leave the department to sort out those problems. Let us not interfere in the operations of the Department uh, of Correctional Service. That was his attitude. Even when the concerns include corruption. Chairperson, even that, mm. he, 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 he will come to the committee with Linda T. We will raise it. I'm saying, Chair, we are having minutes, yes. recordings yes. Of, our, of our meetings. Yes. It's not a thing that I am just raising it. Yes. It's there. Yes. We have raised it many a times. Yes, yes. Nothing, Chair. Nothing. So a common question, Aaron, uh, as a final, as a parting shot, uh, that many of the witnesses at the commission face is, why now? Why are you speaking up? What is your motive? And in the case of Dennis Bloom, there appears to be a story behind that. Yes, there at the end of his testimony today, he spoke about his history and the history of many people who sacrificed so much for this country. And uh, he really called on others, and so did Zondo, in fact, who have insight from within Parliament on what went so horribly wrong uh, that we have evidence, as we have had uh, the last three weeks, on Bursasa and its collusion on the allegations with members of government and at the cost of ordinary citizens. And alarmingly, uh, Bloom also in gave insight in detail into death threats against him, a phone call from an anonymous person where they said, we're following you and uh, uh, we're going to come after you. And he said, having dealt with security police, uh, which is something, you know, we also heard uh, from uh, Barbara Hogan and even Fakey Mentor, he said to them, I'm ready, come for me. And he said, that is not the country that, that people fought and died for. It is not the constitution that was built out of the crucible of the pain of the past, and he has all his hopes in Zondo and his team to try and make right what has gone so horribly wrong. Mm. And not related to the threats, uh, you did get a tweet, a very interesting tweet. Well, what was interesting was this morning when I issued some uh, social media comment on the fact that hearings were beginning, Fikile Mbalula, who's the head of elections for the ANC, responded on the announcement about Dennis Blum saying a suicide bomber. Um, and apparently this is a term that's sometimes used for people who've left the ANC and are 
are kind of in the basket of, of ANC MPs. But based on his testimony, some really, really serious allegations uh, sure. against the party and its peers. Erin Bates, thank you so much for coming through. Erin has been watching the State Capture Commission of Inquiry, and she will continue to do so for ENCA.